Awesome, awesome. So we are gonna get this party started. I just muted everybody out. And it looks like we've got one more. Hi, Julie, how are you? I'm well, thank you, Jessica, how are you? I'm great, I'm great. So I'm so excited to be with you guys today. And I, and I told you last week that we were gonna do something slightly different this week as far as making this a little bit more of a working Zoom. Um, for those of you that were on last week, um, I asked to bring a, a list of names of prospects that you would like to reach out to, to this call. Um, if you don't have that, don't worry. We'll do a quick little memory jogger. I actually have a quick little memory jogger here um, so that you can jot down some names or maybe right now for the next two minutes, if you could write down some names of people that you've been wanting to reach out to. Um, what I would like for you to do is to start brainstorming names of people that have influence that are connected, that are um, you know, really great at social media. Maybe your kids have you know, friends that are super connected on social media and things like that. Um, today's day and age, obviously we're in the middle of a pandemic. And so <laughs> um, as much as I miss meeting face to face and, and having those coffee dates and having those in-person live events and things like that, um, I don't know when that's going to go back to normal. I have no idea when that's going to happen. So right now it's a really strategic thing to be connected online. It's very strategic to be on social media platforms and to engage on social media platforms. So if that's your thing, awesome. If that's not your thing, that's totally fine. I actually work with a ton of people that are like, Jess, I don't like social media. I don't do social media. I don't understand social media. And I'm like, cool, just recruit people that do like social media, know social media and are on social media. <laughs> so then you don't necessarily have to be that person, but you need to definitely recruit people that are because in today's day and age, that's really one of the main ways that you're going to be able to get yourself out there in this business because of, you know, being kind of locked inside right now. So with that being said, if you guys have, um, you know, relatives or children or nieces or nephews or just friends and contacts that um, you can kind of brainstorm and think about that are uh, connected on those platforms or that are connected in their communities that have a lot of influence, those are the names I really want to start with for you guys. So I really would love to start reaching out to those types of people with you. Now, if you guys want to hop on a one-on-one -on -one Zoom with me and you're like, Jess, I would feel way more comfortable if I could you know, bring this list of names with you and start reaching out to these people. Um, and I, I wanna know wording of what to say and what to send and things like that and then have me available as like a third party validator for those questions and comments and things like that, I am 100% open to that. So if you would like to book something with me, I'm gonna drop my email in this chat box and I really want you guys to reach out to me so that you guys can set up something on Zoom and we can do something one-on-one. -on -one. If you are wanting to just do this on this um, Zoom today, then we can do this on this Zoom today. And all this really is, is setting up appointments. So. At the beginning of the month, every single month, what I did with my team um, when I was actively building heavily in network marketing was we would set up these working Zooms and we would do a quick training and then we'd all, so we'd actually split off the teams and we would make it a competition. And it was really fun when it was made into a competition because it was like, how many appointments could we get booked? And it would, we would split it up like East Coast, West Coast, and we'd all hop on a Zoom and um, we'd compete against one another to see how many people could get, uh, you know, different appointments set up for the month. And, you know, the person or the, the team that won ended up getting some kind of a prize or whatever. So um, I, I'm not sure if we need to turn it into a competition right now, but we can definitely do this in the future. But I, I just want you guys to... Um, feel supported when starting to reach out to people because right now the company is starting to really shift into a different gear. I mean, we have samples coming, we have, you know, comp plan adjustments that are happening. We have all of these incredible things that have now been set up, but it's now time to bring people in to plug into this new company that we are now creating for you guys. So um, with that being said, did anybody bring any names to the Zoom or would you guys like to do a quick memory jogger for the next five minutes to write down some names? Most of mine are in New Zealand and Australia. So that's okay. be there. Do you have any that are local to you or in the US? Uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I have to think, yeah. <laughs> so I, 
so I want you guys to start with people like think into yourself. Who do you know that first and foremost is into holistic health and wellness? Who do you know that is already in this realm when it comes to this industry um, that either they have clients or if they don't have clients, they're connected in this industry or they feel very passionate about this industry in general. Maybe they use CBD already. Maybe it's just not our CBD. Um, maybe I want you to start really brainstorming in your mind who you know that is already in this realm, in this industry. And then I want you to think to yourself, who do I know with influence? Um, that is first and foremost, you guys want to move fast in this business. It is all about, and I think I talked about ones, fives, and tens on one of the last calls when it comes to recruiting, but a one is somebody you can tell what to do. You can say, Hey, watch this quick video. Um, I'm going to send it over. I'm really excited about a new project I'm working on, or I just partnered with an incredible company. would love to see what I want you to see what I'm up to. You can tell them what to do. A five is a, a peer. That's somebody that you need to really express to them why you're doing this business and what this means to you. So you're sharing from more of a, a why standpoint on, Hey, I'm really excited. I finally found a way to be able to do X, Y, and Z. Um, not sure if this would be up your alley, but would love to send some details your way and see if this could be a good fit. Or maybe you know somebody that this could help. Uh, and then a 10 is somebody where you're looking up to them. Maybe they're a naturopathic doctor and they've got a ton of clients and this would be super up their alley. Those are the types of people that you reach out to and you're like, Hey, um, I just partnered with this company. I I've been using these products are absolutely incredible, but I know that this is your field. This is your industry. I know you were an expert in this. I would love to get your feedback on this. If I sent you over some details, I would, um, you know, would, would you mind checking this out and giving me your honest opinion? And when you do that to a 10, it's got to kind of be a 10's idea on their own. You can't really kind of push that on them. And when it's their idea, then they'll come back to you with help, support, or feedback. And I, I have found that 10s are the ones that spread your business 10 times faster than a one or a five. It just is what it is. But it, and you guys bring in a couple of 10s and your business is moving with or without you. And that's what you want in this business. So you can a thousand percent bring on you know, 10 ones all day long, but I know you guys want to work smarter instead of harder. And I know you guys are ready to like actually hit some, some major paychecks and ranks in, in this company and hit some of these incentives. So, um, with that being said, I want to make sure that you know how to reach out to a one or a five or a 10 or how to set up those appointments or how to, you know, what to send them as far as resources go, or how to have that communication back and forth so that you don't feel like, Oh, I've got these people, but I don't necessarily know what to say or what to do or, or what to send them or how to respond or, or things like that. Because in the beginning of my business, I had no clue what I was doing. I mean, I fell on my face and ruined massive amounts of contacts because I was doing everything wrong you could possibly imagine. So I don't want you to have to do that. I've already done that for you. So I know what to do, what not to do. And I can set up a one-on-one -on -one Zoom with you guys so that we can actually do this together and you feel supported. And once you've done it a handful of times, you're like, oh, Jess, I got this. Like, this is way easier than I thought. Or I was in my head about this. Or, or sometimes, honestly, for me, it was just, I was scared to do it alone because I, I didn't want to be rejected or I didn't know what they were going to say back. And so I was too scared to get the no on my own. But it's the second I did it with somebody in my upline or my sideline and we would tag team it together and, and take those, do those exposures on um, you know, a Zoom together, then it didn't feel so scary. It was like my chicken list didn't feel so like a chicken list anymore. It was kind of like a, you know, it was just like a normal reach out and, you know, we'll see what happens. There wasn't so much attachment. So um, I really want you guys to let me know right now, um, just pop it in the chat if you can. Tell me right now, are, is this something that you guys would rather do? If you, Who wants a one-on-one -on -one with me and who wants to do this right now on this Zoom? Because I can totally do this right now on this Zoom and we can do a couple of them together and I can give you guys some examples. Or if you guys are like, no, I really want to do this one-on-one -on -one with you, then we can book out some one-on-one -on -one times as well. So tell me right now in the chat, just because I want to see where you guys are at. Um, because I, some of you guys are probably gonna have a lot of questions about different people and things like that. So we can do a memory jogger right now and get some lists and names down and then we can set up an appointment one-on-one -on -one and actually start tackling this list. So tell me what you're thinking. Do it now, Jess. <laughs> awesome, Carolyn, I love it. <laughs> I'm happy to do it on my own. Okay, awesome. And Julie, I saw you raise your hand, so feel free to unmute yourself if you'd like to ask something. One-on-one -on -one Zoom, perfect, Billy. Yeah, Jess, I would um, 
I would agree with everybody who said do it now. Yep. Um, one of the things, one of the um, things that I have been up against, and uh, let me put it this way. I'm here in Gilbert, Arizona, mm -hmm. and there are a ton of people who are currently using various company, different company CBD products. Yes. Okay? In addition to those people, my primary question that I threw in the chat was, what is your recommendation and how would you proceed with trying to transition those people who are currently purchasing over the counter, like from a Whole Foods, like from a Sprouts? Mm -hmm. Because in my mind, I believe that Hemp Smart, for example, has a superior product, mm -hmm. especially the face cream, especially the pain cream, all of those kinds of things. But I've run into so many people who are not interested in listening to what I have to share about Hemp Smart because their head is already at Whole Foods or Sprouts, yep. for example. So if, if you can coach in any way, shape, or form as to the verbiage, the documentation, the anything that would be applicable to a, cust a, a potential customer like that. Absolutely. So... Um, first and foremost, when there are samples that we can give out to people, right. this will be a completely different ballgame because when somebody experiences something for, on their own, then the chances of them converting are so much higher. So I will say that that is coming and it is coming fast. I promise you that. Um, and that's going to make this way easier because you can say, hey, I know you already use this, but I'm going to give you this and I'd love to get your feedback on it. And that's going to be such an easy transition. Now, Joel, I'm going to put you on the spot really quick because I, I don't want to mess this up. You know CBD and you know this product better than anybody on this line. And so I really want you to express the differences between something that someone's getting at Whole Foods or Sprouts versus something that they're getting from Hemp Smart. Can you do that for me? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So for our pain cream, for example, there's no one using the exact formulation that's in Whole Foods or any like big, right. you know, to get store uh it's a custom formulation that's only you know used for us you know from aroma naturals and so you're not going to find that and we also use a broad spectrum cbd that has a very a broad uh, terpene profile and we have uh, lab tests to prove what's in there and I, I don't know that everything you can get at whole foods you can just readily go online and see the lab test for them for each lot most companies won't do that so you don't exactly know what's in each product the only people that are actually seeing that is within the company. And I think the banks actually want to see it, but most companies won't make that public. Where are those lab tests? Oh, go ahead. Uh, they're on the website. Okay. Cool. Um, so when you go to the homepage, I'll walk through it right now. So that's amazing. So <laughs> we're at the homepage. And so what I would suggest Julie is find this on the website. And when you send emails, use the link, copy the link and send it so that they can actually see it. Got it. So yeah, at the HempSmart homepage, where you can see our immunity and focus promotion at the top, scroll all the way to the bottom. And under company, uh, there's a, a link for certificates of analysis under terms of use. Okay. And you I'm click on that and then it's laid out. Uh, it's actually laid out in the Google Drive, but every, everyone's able to see it. And then you go to pain cream and then the pain cream COAs. All of them are actually up there. Okay. Um, Jeff, just another question. Are the, because I have samples associated with like the pain cream and the face cream and that type of thing. Are those changing in any way, whether it's packaging or content or? Uh, no contents have changed. Okay. Okay. Um, so packaging is going to change. So you're talking about the little tubs of the pain cream travel size. Yeah, that's the travel size. We're actually going to be coming out soon. Uh, it should be in the next two to three weeks. We should have them available. It's these little snap packs. I have an example of what they look like. Oh, cool. So it'll look like this. This isn't our brand, but this is an example of like another brand. It'll have, it'll look like this, except I can show you what it'll actually look like. I have the film as well that goes over it. This was like an example film. It's kind of falling apart, but yeah, it looks like this. Oh, okay. Comfort cream. And then there's pain cream for the U S it'll, it'll come out this size. And then the back of it, it's like a credit card size and you snap it like this and then the product squeezes out. Oh, cool. Okay. 
So and we'll ask how many applications. Use. Oh, single use, okay. Yeah, single is use the, samples. So you can give screen someone screen like, you know, two of those. The same way? Uh, what was the question? Well, is the face cream packaging the same way? Uh, yeah, but the face cream samples won't be happening for a while longer. We, we have to do a, another run of face in order to make those uh, sample packs in this form. Okay. So how much are they, Joel? Uh, we, we haven't actually thought mm -hmm. about or, like laying out pricing for them yet. We know we're going to be giving them away also, like the power hour, um, the point sheet. Yeah. Uh, samples will be given out. We're putting these points and incentives, and if you do certain activities, you will get the samples for free, some of the samples for free. You can also purchase them, but uh, you can also get additional uh, with uh, activities for incentives. Those incentives. Um, we also are going to be creating packaging to like package. We haven't really thought about amounts yet. Maybe we're going to do a, a pack with 25 of them in there, maybe a pack with 50 and a pack with 100. And we got to figure out price and what kind of pricing and packaging that the samples will go into. Because I'll have to figure out a box that, you know, 25, 50, or 100 of these will fit in that'll have a barcode that we can scan and send. Okay. But for now, they're going to be in sign up packs. So each of the sign up packs we have, whether it be the pace setter, activator, um, leader pack, and then I think the fast track pack, they're all going to have different amounts in there. I think the most is going to be 100 in the pace setter pack. And then it'll go down to the leader pack, will have 50, activator will have 25. And then I guess we put 10 in the fast track, I think is what we decided. I've got this gym, you know, ready to go, but I'm losing them because I thought I was going to be able to get some samples earlier, you know, and I, um, yeah. The, the, it, the samples for the pain cream, I'm almost ready to go. They're, they are on testing right now. We're going to send, we send them. Yeah, they're in testing. It should be done between uh, today and Wednesday they're with not, testing. They're ready. They just, we always send them for an independent testing before. Yeah. We send it to the clients and they are in testing right now. As soon as they come back, as the batch comes back from the testing, we should be able to send it to the UK. So it's just a matter of a one or more, probably one or two more, more weeks. As soon as we have it, just we'll put the package together. I'd say the, I'd say the max three because they're right now they're being tested for um, uh, impurities. So for any toxins or anything like that, it's not being tested for potency. So after the, the toxin test is done, we, they, they were gonna fill all of our gallons and the small travel size and send it to us. Then from there, I'm gonna send the bulk to get you know, these snap packs filled. And then also at the same time, I'm gonna test for potency. And that test takes about a week once it gets to me. Annie, do you have any product that you could give them? Um, and well, tell I, them I've got you know, a full pain thing oh, that I could give to the, the club. The problem is they're selling um, another, um, another manufacturer's product but only in creams you know body creams and things which hasn't got cbd in but they've got a contract with them and they say they can't take anything else on so at the moment i'm trying to argue that what we're selling is completely different to the stuff that they're under contract for with the other company but mm -hmm. they're you know they're kind of caught in a bit of a cleft stick but i'm hoping to swing them and the only thing i could think of doing was taking um you know just a full kind of um, pain cream along or comfort cream along and suggesting that they use it with any of their clients that have got a bit of a strain you know and just try it for that and it's I know it's ex an expensive way to do it but if there was any way I can secure it that that would be good well, but mm. if you want if you want we can send you a couple of more of these as and use them and just drop them as samples for the time being that you can use this size okay the one we have right now That's That'd you be know? fantastic, yeah. You but know. I'd like to strike we while the get, iron's hot, you know. We can send you two or three for just samples and just drop them there to hold them yeah. warm until we yeah. can have this the, the, the other one, which would be this one. Yeah, that'd be fantastic, Gloria. Thank you. So these yeah, are those. the ones that are already, uh, already came out, but they're in the, the testing. These are the ones that are in the final, okay? Right. Yeah, okay, that's mm -hmm. a good idea. Thank you. Okay, I would, um, all right, let me... Uh, <laughs> I would honestly only give them one. Um, just as my experience so Joel, with them. Let's put some, some uh, let's send them three, three, three bottles to, to Annie for samples. For the Gloria, Gloria, I wouldn't send them three. I'm just going to be honest with you. I've worked with a lot of gyms. I've worked with a lot of different small businesses and things like that. I wouldn't give them any more than one to okay. start till they tell me that they're open to, with the whole contract thing, like, if they can't carry it, they can't carry it. So giving them three and not even knowing if they're going to be able to do it. I was thinking of doing different gyms. 
<laughs> I've got one oh. under my belt. So if you've got multiple it, gyms, you can do one for each gym, but I wouldn't give one gym three. I, oh, no, I, no, because I'm more worried about somebody ripping it off, to be honest. Yeah. You know, thinking, oh, this works, snitch into my bag, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, anyway. Right, so how many how many gyms are we talking here? Uh, well, I've, I've only started with one, but there's two others in the area that I haven't targeted yet until I knew what I was doing with this one. If this okay. one works, then I've got the, the wind in my sails to go forth and multiply. But at the moment, <laughs> I want to make sure that I'm hitting the target, you know. Oh my gosh, go forth, my dear, go forth. <laughs> 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 okay. All right. Very good, Danny. Okay. So three pain creams I'm sending. Two, two right? Two? You already two. gave him one, right? Yeah, whatever. If if you can give me two or three, that's fantastic. And I promise I won't waste them. I'll send okay. them back. All right. All right. Just I am. Um, I would love if you have any naturopathic doctors or anybody like that in um that's close by too gyms are wonderful massage therapists are wonderful yeah. naturopathic doctors are wonderful mm -hmm. those are the types of people that when they experience these products they will 100 percent be excited about sharing these products and it's effortless it's it's something that's so effortless it's it's like when i was in skincare doing um aesthetics me joining a network marketing company with skincare was effortless. It's, I, I can just share it with all the other things that I'm sharing as is. So when you already target those types of people, it's, it's kind of a no brainer for them, especially yeah. right now needing a, an additional stream of income to make it up for. I'd feel better if they were the smaller ones like you showed us, Joel, like the old, old sample size that we got that went quite a long way, the, um, the round tubs, you know, those little ones. Yeah, the you, travel size. Yeah. The size rather than the, the uh -huh. big ones, which I think can be prolonged. Yeah. 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 Anyway, thank you for your support with that, guys. Of course. Absolutely. Absolutely. And please always reach out if you have those types of situations or, mm -hmm. or if you are, you know, in conversation with a lot of those people and you're like, hey, I'd love to set up a time for you to chat with, you know, one of the top people in the company so that you could see if this could be a good fit for your yeah. You know, and, and when you do that, it kind of makes it a little bit more professional and official too. So it's yeah. like, well, let's see if this could be a good fit or a good partnership or, or something that would be um, a, suitable for your clients. Let's have this conversation. So yeah, I, I am very, very excited for you, Annie. That's amazing. Yeah, um, I did yeah. that with, um, with also, my husband's been having. The, the, face, the face cream should have arrived, should arrive to the UK this week, right, Joel? Yes. <laughs> Well, you'll have the face cream now. We already have it. You should have it in stock this week. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's that's expected. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's let's see how it gets through customs. But yeah. Yeah, it was sent last week. We're just you know waiting for it to get, I guess, through customs. I guess. Have we tried anything through to Norway? Because <coughs> I've, got some, I've got chiropractors and things in Norway. I'm sorry about this light. I should go and put another one on. But I'm, you know, we had so much trouble last Christmas because we lost stock because it got confiscated by customs. And I yes. wondered if you were talking yeah. about it going through Holland, yeah? You but, have to be sent through the Netherlands, yes. We have the fulfillment center, yes. It's just we have to, we have to probably send the package to the fulfillment center and make a test from the Netherlands directly into Norway. So then, so they would not be, uh, because the, both in the EU, they should not be confiscated by customs anymore. No. And also it take, take shorter to deliver them from the UK. Yeah. yeah. I'll have to contact you, Joel, and give you the, num the name of the two, two of the top um, associates in Norway that I want to link in here. One's on the course, well, the other is, anyway, I'll tell you, yeah. Because yeah. I'd like to invite them to this. Um, oh, I've tried myself, but I think it would mean more if they got an official invite to join in the Power Hour. And I think we then start to grab them in a bit. Is that okay? they, are, they are associates, like currently? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they oh, get, yeah, they, they, they should have the emails. Yeah, yeah email. you, I think you've got Espen, and um, there's Arne Korsvold and Espen, um, yeah, he, what's his surname? Can't remember what Espen's surname is. Yes, P-E-N. Yeah, there's two of them. Okay. And, and Espen is um, married to a vet. So, you know, and she is, um, yeah, she's right into natural remedies. So 
that would be a really good fit. Oh yeah, definitely. Who who do you know that's a vet for sure? Pet drops would be amazing for them. Yeah, yeah. Carolyn, I feel like you were about to say something. Did I? Oh yeah, no. The validation what we were talking about when um, through lockdown, my son's been having um, physiotherapy. So obviously, I've spoken to his phys- physiotherapist, and I um, got Daniel and Paula Vetta on a zoom we got a zoom on friday evening and we've signed him up so he's doing quite well so it really does work because i just think you know i'm a teacher by trade but i'm not like a specialist so i do think the validation three-way calls i think he would have done it anyway because obviously he'd been using the pain cream with jack and um, my son so but he's now selling it he's got three um two are two are only open but the third one because of the lockdown and staffing so but he yeah he's um the physiotherapists are great and he loves the pain cream so it is good that three-way validation oh my um, God. Cool. Mm. that's awesome that you've experienced that though like that yeah, yeah, once yeah. you have that third-party validation and you know like it works you're like oh i have to do that again <laughs> yeah. but with the um with that you know you were saying if we, we go, go for our tens um what thing could we send them have we got kind of like a, a obviously i've got all paula's stored on my phone all her videos which are great um, so it's just really having someone with a bit of clout to kind of say, right, this is at this 10, at this, prof- if you're trying to attract a professional like I was with Craig, the physiotherapist, you need someone with the, the know-how, not just really, you know, even though I'm, I'm quite um, educated on the products now, um, I think some, sometimes having like, you know, a practitioner like Paula to come on the Zooms to kind of answer any of those questions that I possibly might not be able to ask. I definitely agree. Um, Gloria and Brenda, I'm curious, could we get Paula to do um, a Zoom where we could record that and use that as um, something moving forward as a resource, something that's more updated? We have a lot of uh, videos from Paula actually that are already in the YouTube and if there's any particular subject. And then we actually going to, we're thinking of redoing them because we also want to put them in the website, but See, Paula always did it from the medical side, but never used, obviously, to the SEO side to make it, you know, use keywords and stuff. So we need to put it a little bit more uh, along the keyword side. So we, we, it helps us all to increase the visibility of the website, which is what we're trying to do. But yes, absolutely, Paula can make, make herself available. Either one of these power hours for questions that you may have avail, uh, anybody or on one-to-one if you need to. Or if you have a group and you need to do training, just let us know and we'll schedule it. Absolutely. Okay, yes. cool. I would love to set up a Zoom with her where we could do an opportunity presentation, um, okay. a more updated opportunity presentation. That would be amazing. So, and maybe even like her and Skylar could hop on and do something where Skylar can go over a couple of things and then she can be this like, you know, clout at the end. So do you want to do it in a power hour in a, one on a Monday like this or a separate one? Um, I, well, if we could get her twice, that would be amazing to do something yeah, for like a Q and A for power hour. Sure. So, and then I think a, an opportunity presentation, um, maybe on like a, a Wednesday at the same time. Um, so we can do like a Monday power hour and a Wednesday opportunity presentation and, and she can share, um, just, we can all invite into it on zoom and everybody's prospects can hop on. And if they can't hop on, we'll have the recording and we can send that over to them. So um, maybe, maybe it's too soon to do it day after tomorrow because we don't have enough yes. time. To Let's do it next people. Wednesday. But well, we can do it next Wednesday yes. if you want and I can plan it ahead. Yes. Uh, you know, right now, Paul is, is helping us also because we are thinking of um, improving some of the flavors in the new batch we have. We have some really exciting new flavors that we're looking at. Fine. like like a blueberry lavender and uh, chocolate, chocolate, uh, a strawberry or cinnamon. We have really nice, uh, and they have made the lemon flavor, I think is better. And the peppermint, the mint is now peppermint. So they have really, they have sent us a bunch of samples and she's helping us, all of them are helping us uh, choose the flavor so we can have more better and exciting flavors in the new, in the new batch that is coming. You know? Oh, that's awesome. Amazing. Yeah. Let's, let's plan on that. So I'll, um, I'll get with you guys, 
um, at the in the meeting after this, and we'll we'll figure out the timing and stuff. But I think for you guys is is the same time as uh, Power Hour is that same time on Wednesday a good day to do some kind of an opportunity presentation next Wednesday? No, I can't do Wednesdays. I'm afraid. I can't. It's better, it's better for me because I, I do a, a seven till eight of a Monday, which I've just done half of it. So I've done seven till half seven, then come on to this. So I miss half of my uh, another training that I do. It's a business training thing that I do every Monday. So the, we used to do it on Monday morning down during lockdown at eight o'clock, but it's gone back to our evening one. So I have two Zooms at the same time on Monday. What, so, about, what about Tuesdays? What about um, Tuesday better then, guys? Tuesday's fine, yeah. Better, yeah. Okay, so, so we'll do Monday Power Hour next week, and Tuesday we'll do a opportunity um, opportunity call. Yeah. Okay. At the same time, uh, for everybody, just on Tuesdays, and we'll you know we'll send you the invitation. I will ask Paula to join. Absolutely, yes. Perfect. So you guys just check your email, and you'll get that notification. And then I'll also post it in the Facebook group. So keep an eye out. Um, so I'll post that as soon as it's confirmed and ready to go. Um, I'll post that so that you guys can have that Zoom link to send to people as well. I wanted to make sure that everyone was able to download their point tracker and um, the other email that was sent via um, MailChimp this last week. Did everyone receive that? I got yours directly, the one for the, because um, I couldn't download it off this, but I could, you sent me a didn't you, Brenda, directly. The point. And we sent a MailChimp I, to everyone last week that had that. <laughs> no, I didn't get that. I didn't, no. I don't had buttons. Anything like that either. Okay, okay, well, that's good for us to check on then because it did go out. Um, <laughs> do you, and you open your MailChimp every week when you receive them and it, it doesn't go to spam? No, nope, I've got nothing. I check my junk every Isn't day. Isn't that interesting? Okay, I'll check with him and make sure what happened and send it out again so you have your um, point tracker. Blame it on that I asked. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Oh, thank you for asking, Brenda. Um, yeah, that point tracker, as soon as you guys get that, um, if you could print that out and if you'd like to laminate it so that you can save paper and not have to reprint it week after week, uh, that's what I used to do with mine was just laminate and then I just write on it with the little dry erase marker, take a picture of it after the week, post it in the Facebook group so that we can start tallying up your points for free samples when they come in. And then, um, and then you just wipe it clean and start again for the next week. So uh, definitely make sure you do that um, when you get that email. And so we'll make sure that that email gets resent. And if you have any questions on that point tracker here, I'm gonna put my number in my, um, let me do one seven five seven eight one seven eight zero six five. Here's my number if you have any questions on that or um, Jessica at tempsmart.com. Uh, I have a question. Yes, of course, Stephen. Oh, um, does everyone know how to do a screenshot of a, of like if you if you post something like that, how to do a screenshot and save it into your phone? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, yes. well, that's what I did, and then you can go back in and. Uh, reuse that rather and carry actually carry it around instead of i mean uh, dry erase is great but um and I laminating that. yeah i do a screenshot i uh go in and edit it um and save it so i always have it and i can refer back to it um in fact whenever uh, we have these presentations a lot of times i'll do a screenshot of whatever you're presenting and then go in and you can add text to it. You can do whatever, you know, uh, update it. So. That's a really good idea, Stephen. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. I never even thought about that. You can definitely add text to screenshots. Yeah, you can. Never done the text, but I've done screenshots, but anyway, interesting. Is, is next Monday on as well as Tuesday or is Tuesday instead of Monday? No, so next Monday, Power Hour is the exact same. Next okay. Tuesday is just going to be an opportunity presentation that you can invite prospects to. Okay. So what, what, will, in, what will it involve, the opportunity presentation? 
Um, so I'm, I need to talk to her and find out what you know, she's going to end up talking about, but my guess and what my recommendation is for her would be to talk a little bit about the products, the differentiators of why our products are best. And then also talk a little bit about the business and how someone could partner with the company, especially right now in the timing that we sit and, um, oh, thank you for screen sharing. That's perfect. Steven, people can screenshot this right now. Um, so, and then it'll go into, uh, you know, talking about how you could partner with the company and then it'll close out, get back to the person that invited you on, let them know if you have any questions, um, and would be more than happy to set up a one-on-one -on -one to have a conversation and see if this could be a good fit for you. Something along those lines. I'm just sending a text to Paula right now, but to, to just make it sure that she's available. But I'm, I just spoke with her with the, this morning and I'm pretty sure she is. I just want to read going Perfect. Okay, so when it comes to what I was talking about earlier, you guys, and, and if you want a one-on-one, -on -one, I just put my information in that chat box. So feel free to shoot me a text or an email and set something up. I um, The only day I cannot do this week is on Thursday because I'm going to be on a plane. But other than that, I can set it up ASAP. So um, I would love to, if you could just take a couple minutes um, I know that this Zoom is a little bit longer than what we usually do, but I want you guys to take a couple of minutes and I have a little um, memory jogger here and I'm just going to name, I'm going to go down this memory jogger and I just want you to literally write down as fat, almost like treat this like a game, like write down as many names that pop into your head as I'm going through occupations as humanly possible. And I want you to almost pretend that you get like a hundred dollars per name when you're writing these down. So you can make this, your brain will serve you more <laughs> if there's something there that you're gonna get from this. So, um, <laughs> so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just start talking and I, as I'm talking, just see how many names pop into your head. You, you can go back and you can, I'll send you guys or I'll post this in the Facebook group and you can go back and actually make a longer list off of these occupations. But I want you to just see how many names you can get down in the next five seconds of when I'm going through this, okay? so. Are you guys ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. All right. Any coworkers, your boss, your partner, a janitor, security guard? Who do you know that's a delivery person? Who do you know that's an administrative staff? Who do you know that's a parking attendant? Who do you know that's a landscaper? Who do you know that has a coffee shop? Who do you know that has, is a personnel manager, a salesperson? Who do you know that is, <laughs> this memory dog is actually kind of funny. <laughs> I'm skipping some of them because some of them were off the wall. There we go. Um, uh, who's a banker? Who is, um, who do you know that's lost their job? Who do you know that's a stay-at-home mom? Who do you know that dislikes their job? Who's the most likable person that you know? Who needs a part-time job? <laughs> Who's an engineer? Who's laid off from COVID? Who's a contractor? Who's a mover and shaker? Who's a preacher? A nurse? Dentist? Who has kids? Everyone. <laughs> um, who is between the ages of 25 and 35? Who do you know that's good at social media? Who do you know that's good at golf? Who do you know that's a realtor? A student? Who do you know that owns a restaurant? Who do you know that's a pharmacist? Who do you know that's a waitress? Who do you know that's a business owner? Who do you know that's a police officer? Who do you know that's a personal trainer? Who do you know that's a therapist? A hairdresser. 
a gym owner, a coach, a teacher, a principal, a doctor, Who do you play tennis with? <laughs> so random. <laughs> this is such a fun memory jogger. I'm trying not to do unnecessary ones. Um, uh, who do you know that's a photographer? A guidance counselor. Who's your sister-in-law? Your brother-in-law? Your father-in-law? Your mother-in-law? Son-in-law? Daughter-in-law? Cousin? Aunt? Uncle? Nephew? Niece? best friend. A neighbor. Who do you know that works a second job? Who do you know that has a nice smile? <laughs> what a funny one. That's awesome. Who's ambitious? Who's outgoing? Who's enthusiastic? Who's trustworthy? Who's a hard worker? Who do you know that's a chiropractor? I want you to almost like go through different states too. Like who do you know in California? Who do you know in Arizona? Who do you know in like, I'm going to post a bunch of memory joggers in the, in the Facebook group. And I want you guys to see how big your list can get from these memory joggers. Cause this is how I built so big just cause you forget about people. Um, let's see here. Who's your favorite person to eat lunch with? Who does yoga? Um, let's see if there's any other good ones on here. There's so many. Who do you know that's organized? Who did you go to school with? <laughs> Getting desperate now. <laughs> Getting desperate now. <laughs> I can't remember that far back. <laughs> <laughs> Who did your kids go to school with? Because your kids are probably the ones that are on social media like I feel like I, I mean I go to my my friends kids at this point <laughs> to get help on social media <laughs> so I feel like who, who do you know in the younger generation that's good at social media and I swear those those guys there's always something new that they're teaching me it's crazy so um that's just to get things started now what I would really love you to do is to take that list and ask yourself on that list, who's a one, who's a five, who's a 10? The ones are the ones that you can say, hey, you know, I, and honestly, like, it's so easy. If you have that connection with a one, there's going to be people that you haven't talked to in forever. And the conversation is going to go a little bit different than the conversation with the person you just talked to yesterday. So the person you just talked to yesterday, if they're a one, it's so easy to say, hey, what are you doing on Tuesday at, you know, eight o'clock at night? or whenever this Zoom is gonna be, or 8, 8.30. So what are you doing at 8.30? And that's you guys' time zone, you know, obviously pick your time zone. But um, what are you doing at 8.30 on, on next Tuesday? And it's so easy for you to actually invite them and, and literally shoot them a text and just say, hey love, just checking in, um, wanna run something by you. What are you up to next Tuesday at 8.30? Can I steal you away for 20 minutes, 30 minutes? And when you ask somebody that, that's a one, most likely they're going to say something like, you know, sure, what is it? Um, you know, I, it's a project I'm working on, really excited about it, would love to get your feedback and your support. Um, cool, awesome, what do I have to do? Hop on a Zoom and just check it out. You know, worst case, you may know some people you can send my way, awesome. So it's super easy with a one, if you can kind of tell them what to do. Uh, if you haven't talked to them in forever, you need to probably reach out to them and shoot them a text and say something like, hey love, just, you know, randomly thought about you, um, want to run something by you, let me know when you're free to chat for a minute. And you can just shoot them a text, super, super easy. These days, and you know, in at least my generation, we don't answer the phone very often. We like to text. 
So it's very easy to shoot a text out to somebody to, to get kind of prime them and prep them and then hop on the phone with them because people just don't answer the phone when you call them, it, at least for my generation these days. So if you shoot a text and you say, hey, want to run something by you, when do you have a couple minutes to chat? Super easy to kind of tee yourself up. They're like, hey, I'm around three o'clock today. Cool. We'll call you um, three o'clock. I'll only have a minute, but want to just run something by you. And then when you hop on the phone with them, it's super simple to say something along the lines of, you know, I'm, I partner with a company. This is what I'm excited about. And I would love to get your feedback on this. We're doing a zoom on, on Tuesday night. Not sure if it would be up your alley. I always say that because if you take it off the table for them, then they can say no and they don't feel pressure. So not sure if it would be up your alley, but worst case, you may know somebody, some people you could send my way or some people this could help, you know, can you hop on and support me at, on Tuesday at whatever time? And then just get that commitment. Now, when you get that commitment for Tuesday night, this, you have to make sure that you follow up on Tuesday and re-ask them because nobody's thinking about you on Tuesday. When you don't call them back up, they're like, oh, you know, my goldfish died. My finger hurt today. Like any excuse, like any excuse will come up. So, and so that's when you have to reach back out to them and you have to say, hey, love, so stoked to see you on the Zoom tonight or so excited to see you on the Zoom tonight. Um, here's the link. Um, again, this means the world. Thanks for hopping on something along those lines to make it so that it, this is important to you. You actually really care that they're taking the time out of their day to hop on and it means something to you. So that's really important. Now with a five, you really need to have way more of like why you're doing this business at the forefront. Um, I, this is really, really, really important with a five. Like if you don't have why you're doing this business um, at the forefront, then the five is going to probably be like, oh yeah, what, whatever. Cause they know you didn't do him smart before and now you're doing him smart now. And they're going to kind of see where you're going with this thing. So you got to make sure that with a five, you're coming from more of like, you know, look, I partnered with this company. It's allowing me to do X, Y, and Z. This is a, a huge um, deal for me in the middle of this pandemic. And this is something that I really want you to see and check out because I, you know, worst case you can send people my way. Like it needs to come from your heart ma majorly. It's a, it, this peer group is the one that's typically most negative. And then at 10, you're asking for help, support, and feedback. So those are the three key words with a 10, you know, Hey, partner with this incredible company, really excited about this this is way more up your alley and you're an expert at this. I would love to get your help, your support, your feedback on this one. Um, you know, if I sent you over some information for you to hop on a zoom, you know, do you think you could take a few minutes out of your day to, to hop on this thing and, you know, really check this out. I'd love to get your feedback on this. That's what's really important with a, with a 10. So I know we're going way over at this point, so I need to wrap this up. But if you guys have any specific questions when reaching out to prospects, I'm going to post those memory joggers in that Facebook group. So please check that out. I'm going to post this replay in that Facebook group. If you need to go watch this replay and kind of write some of these key things down, if you need to text me, text me. If you need to email me, email me. I am 100% here to support and help in any way that I possibly can when it comes to you reaching out to your prospects. I feel like we've done a really good job of kind of setting up a little bit of a foundation moving into now, but it's time to take action into this company and us to start really hitting some of these ranks, these incentives, these different things. And so we got to take some, some a activity or we got to do some a activity and take some action when it comes to that. So I can help you guys build your businesses here. So, uh, please keep me updated. I'm sending so many good vibes for the week. Let me see right here. Can you confirm Facebook group address, please? Um, Joel, the Facebook group is called Associate. Uh, it's official Hempstar Associates. Official Hempstar Associates. This is what you search at the top of Facebook Hemp Smart Associates. Can I just ask about obviously English? It's obviously the, the Facebook is targeted really for the the US. I know and Anna, you you put on something on our little yeah. the other day. Like obviously we had the bank holiday the other week. Um, you had your Labor Day, so obviously it's all lots of things hyped up for the Labor Day. But I do think, feel like the UK gets left out a bit, really. You know, um, I did Brenda, I sent you lot, all our bank holidays oh, a couple of months ago. What we were doing, so. And we you know, do have those. I think what we're trying to do, and correct me if I'm wrong, Gloria, is one Facebook universal. Yeah. So I need somebody to check on that, Joel. 
why wouldn't Facebook be universal? Even though it's it's based out of the U.S., why wouldn't that be universal? Well, it, it could be. We just got to, you know, make uh, events or recipes and, you know, things for holidays for both countries in the same Yeah, page. absolutely. Yeah. 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 yeah, I think that's where we're going, Carolyn. I think it's too much to try and juggle different countries' Facebooks. That's yeah, I, th I think it was just the adverts, the targeting of the adverts, because you had a whole bunch of wonderful adverts for Labor Day, but we could have used those just with bank holiday Monday or something on it for us mm -hmm. and we could because that's a big drinking holiday as well you know isn't okay. it and yeah. so that's the information I don't have on my special holidays that that's a big drinking holiday it's an extra day off isn't it it's an extra day off you can drink on the Sunday because you're not in work on the Monday okay but well, those are the little notes that I need so that we can do that that's great that's absolutely bank great. holiday Carol. drinking yeah Carolyn, if you could send me that list as well, and I'm going to put those on my calendar too. So, and then if you, if you wouldn't mind just shooting like maybe a reminder or maybe on these power hours, you're, you're like, Hey, next week we're having a holiday here in the UK, just so that we can make sure that we make the graphics. We can make sure that those recipes are, are geared towards you guys and we can post them in the Facebook group and stuff like that. Keep us on it when it comes yeah. to you guys. Too. Remind us. Yeah. And not yeah. a week. I think we'd rather know like this month. It's yeah, yeah, totally. That's happening. Yeah. Okay, so ne our next thing really is the school holidays. Well, unless where our rates are, our rates are going up again. So we're having local lockdowns again. So schools, kids are getting sent home from school. We've only just got back in two weeks ago. So the stresses and, and that's what the way I'm thinking at the moment. So October half term, where we have a week off in school, stresses will be back up again because kids are at home and everything else. So I'm thinking possibly marketing something we for have that. drops for that exactly <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> i take lots of those <laughs> that's just um, for you the kids too i, I know it's nothing I know. to me that kids can take drops yeah. too that's right really they can my, both my boys take drops yeah so, yeah. I'm so and we don't talk about that it's kind of like a a, a secret but i'm trying to get um paula to help me understand that better so that we can say if your yeah. kid is seven that's, or eight. One the, that's one of the questions we can ask. Paula is available. Well, she just confirmed. She's available for next Tuesday. I told her for one hour. So any questions that you have, you can send ahead of time. And Jessica, you talked to her before to coordinate so we can make this as productive as possible. Absolutely. Yeah, I think so. We'd like to have happy kids all over the world. <laughs> so let's, let's talk to her about that. Okay. Oh, oh, can I just say the recipes? Yes. Some of the ingredients we don't have in England in the same, so we have to look at a few of the things. So would you look at those and give me feedback and email that to me, Annie? That would yeah. be helpful and I'll make the graphics and then we'll post those as well. If you guys will help me, I will absolutely fix them up for you. Yeah. I and sent you the list, Joel, of the public holidays, didn't I? I sent Yeah, but I mean, ex yeah. especially on recipes, if you will send that to me, then I will make those available because we're going to put them all on the website. So you can send somebody to the website for all of our recipes. And that way they'll be both by, they'll be bilingual. By, okay. You know what I mean? The Christmas, I think, you know, sure. the Christmas recipes we're going to have. Well, to send me some that you guys really like and that are traditional. They cut out Brenda. Yeah. Okay. Brenda, one little thing I'd say about the, um, the, the advertisements, can we make the products larger on the actual advertisements rather than just like the little, it's only like a little, like this. Yes. Yeah, so we can make the actual products larger. Okay, that's great input. And you know what, you guys, I have to cut this off because I have the production meeting in two minutes. Okay. okay. Thank All you right, so much guys, for coming. Have a guys. wonderful week. Shoot me a text or email and I'll see you guys next week. Okay. Thank you.